Guys, listen, the t-shirt industry will never be the same. These transfers are changing the game. Look at this. Look at this. You print them at home in 15 seconds. I mean, it is a game changer. You upload your artwork. You get them back in three days. You print. There's no weeding. There's no nothing. All right. Let's get into it right now. Are custom heat transfers the best way for beginners to start a t-shirt business? Let's talk about it. T-shirt help desk. What's up, guys? Gary Ejene, t-shirthelpdesk.com, the place where we cover all things t-shirt related. Make sure you go down and click on that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and if you're watching on Instagram or Facebook, follow us so you'll be notified of all this great information we have on the t-shirt industry. All right, guys, look. There's a lot of ways to start a t-shirt business, all right? And I'm about to get into a few and I'm going to weigh the pros and cons and tell you how it shapes up against custom heat transfers. Now, not just any custom heat transfers, but super color in particular. So without any further ado, let's get it on. Print on demand. Now, the pro to print on demand is that it is little to no startup cost. You can start up with virtually no money goose egg now the con is that you don't really get to control the branding experience okay you're it's up to whatever print on demand company you're using that means that specialty boxes specialty hang tags putting little goodies in the boxes sleeve um uh, labels and hem labels and all that stuff you can't really do a lot of that stuff so that's the really the drawback to whereas with Custom heat transfers, since you're printing yourself at home, you can do whatever you like. Let's go to the next one. Screen printing. Ah, screen printing. Tried and true, the classic way to start a t-shirt business. Now, the pro to screen printing is that you can do all type of specialty prints and it's really cheap if and only if you are doing large orders if you're not doing large orders it is extremely expensive for every color that's on your shirt they have a charge for the screen that could be anywhere from 75 to 150 dollars they charge you to do color separations they charge you for art they charge you to change the screens they charge you to walk in their place they charge you to call them they charge you to email them they charge you to breathe air they charge you to blink your eyes they charge you for everything they nickel and dime you for everything so uh, unless you're doing big orders and most of you as beginners are not don't do screen printing to whereas uh with uh custom heat transfers supercolor in particular you could print i mean you can just start off with 20 prints that's it no mold cost no uh crazy screen cross nothing all right on to the next one vinyl cutting now vinyl cutting is great the pro is that if you think of something if you have a vinyl cutter and some vinyl you can make a t-shirt well you can do your t-shirt right then and there you can't really do anything like that because t-shirt making with a vinyl cutter is very slow all right also you can't really do any photographic prints also um the prints that you are doing in your artwork has to be very simple and it takes forever you have to weave it is very time consuming labor intensive and laborious okay it's it's, it's cool but um let's just say with custom heat transfers super color you take it you slap it down on a t-shirt you hit it you can print a shirt in 15 seconds ink Jet transfer paper, you know that stuff it's like Avery, the stuff you see at Walmart and CVS and all those things. Guys, let me just put it to you like this. They suck, all right? Uh, the prints are horrible, they look horrible, they're papery, um, they don't last that long, they crack. Um, as a professional, don't do it. No one is going to take you seriously. That's good for like Halloween or going out one night, you know, just having some fun. But trying to sell that, it's not going to work, guys. Look, all I can say is that they suck and just just take my word for it. Thank me later. DTG, 
DTG is a personal favorite of mine. I love DTG, but I got to tell you, and we actually, if you go up and you look at some of these video, we talk about this. If you are not already established and you don't have sales coming in and you don't have that customer base already and you don't know what you're doing, if you're a beginner, it's way, 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 I'm not going to say too expensive, but it's very expensive. All right. Unless you got 15, 20, 25, 30K laying around to throw in there um, to see if you even like doing t-shirts, you go right ahead. However, I'm going to say that for a beginner, it may not be the best thing. Okay. To where it's super color, you could just go get some, you can get 20. All right. Start right there and that's it. You're on your way. You don't have to spend, you know, 25 grand on to the next one. Sublimation. Sublimation is awesome. The, the pro is that, you know, you can print at home and sublimation stays literally forever. All right. The con is that you have to use polyester blanks. It only prints on polyester and you have to use light color blanks. It doesn't really show on dark blanks. And guess what, guys? The number one color for T-shirts, bar none, outsells all other colors combined is black. So that's that. To so whereas uh, custom heat transfers, you can print them on anything, all right? Depending on which one you choose, you can get them on cotton, poly, you can just go crazy, all right? So that's that. And you know what, guys? I'm talking all this stuff about custom heat transfers and super color. Let me just show you exactly a little something, something what you can do. Check this out. Okay, guys, it's really simple. You get them in the mail and they come as is. They're ready. I'm putting on a Teflon sheet, banging it down. 15 seconds and look at ya. You just a nice peel, hot peel t shirt. Now, let's take a look at this up close and you can see all the little nooks and crannies and everything. I mean, it's like a real print. Let's go to the next one, okay? This one was a lot of fun because this one is like a dashiki. Check that out. Wakanda forever. Yeah really really cool i mean look at what you can do with super color this one right here dumb rappers need teaching like the uh lyric from biggie here we go dumb rappers need teaching and check this out once again nice hot peel i didn't even need the teflon sheet dumb rappers need teaching all right all right for you guys who are fans of sneakers this is the jordan 11 i heart my kicks Look at this. L look at how awesome this is. I mean, guys, this is a t-shirt business in the box. You take them. And guys, I printed all these shirts in five minutes. Okay, this one is the old school versus new school. The uh, floppy disks versus thumb drives T. The possibilities are endless. Okay, once again, take a look at this. And look at this stretch, man. Also, look at these colors, all right? Look at the detail that you can get with this thing. Guys, you upload your artwork in three days, you get your prints, and you have a t-shirt business. Back to me talking. All right, guys, I hope you learned something, okay? If you wanna know more about custom heat transfers at Supercolor, guys, I got links all down in the description box. You can go to Supercolor. You can also go to Heat Transfer Warehouse and get all up in there and learn. You could possibly uh, get you a sample pack and check them out, man, because feeling is believing. Anyway, guys, look at y'all. I'm finna put some butter on my shoes and slide on out. Yo, start a t-shirt business or die trying, okay, with those custom heat transfers. God bless you. Cheers to your t-shirts. Do something good for somebody. And if you don't have anybody to do something good for, do something good for yourself. Till next time. Peace. Shirt man, shirt man. Yeah, that's me. Let's talk about God. Damn.